Hey, hey, scrappy people. It's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a life crafted album layout using the Coco Daisy Tranquility Collection. It's been a while since I've been in my life crafted album, so it's nice to get back into it. I've got a few different projects going on now, and so I thought that I would come back to my first love this year, which is the five by eight and a quarter pages. So I am using this beautiful paper from the planner collection. It's also included in the classified memory keeping collection and then one of the traveler's notebook inserts and it says serenity is the tranquil balance of heart and mind this was after a nine mile run and when i do long runs i feel like it's sort of a zen thing for me i get kind of in the zone it's a form of meditation so i thought that this was an appropriate um statement i guess for capturing my nine mile run. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a paper tear and folding the paper back so that you it like reveals the underside of the paper and what it's going to look like once I get it all folded correctly is it'll look like the tear is revealing that quote. That's kind of the goal I'm going for, the look I'm going for. And um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and it's going to look like my photos are being revealed by the tear. And I just kind of wanted to play with a different version of paper tearing for this layout. So I'm going to flip that paper over so that it shows the back side. And then that way I'll have balance on both sides of the layout with the pattern. So you can see on the right hand side that this pattern with the plus signs is what's being revealed. And then on this side, the beautiful um, leafy pattern is going to be revealed and I do not have these folded correctly yet. I will get there. I'm just sort of making sure that the folds and the tears are big enough first. So I just put the tape down on the very edge so that I could shove things underneath it and I will finish adhering it later. But first I just want to make sure that everything fits and that the tears are working correctly. I just love the texture that this technique is bringing into this layout. It really feels like um, I don't need to do a lot more to make the whole thing really interesting looking. And I actually don't do a ton to this layout because of how interesting the tears are. So I just want to make sure that these get put down correctly. You can see how they don't meet in the middle and it's a little bit more obvious and apparent on the left hand side. So I'm actually going to put something in the middle there as sort of a visual. Uh, what it's going to do is it's really going to draw your attention to the center of the page and give it a little bit of balance with the center of the page, like with the right hand side has the quote on the center of the page. So it's going to give it some balance and mirror that quote. Okay, so now everything is sort of laid out and ready to go. Now I can start decorating and I don't want to add too much. Again, I really love just the simplicity and the tranquil feeling that these tears give. So I'm going to add in some things. I'm just trimming everything down at f first, making sure that everything is the appropriate size before I start adding stuff in. So I'm going to add in some chipboard pieces. I'm sort of looking through. I don't want to add too many words. You know, I have a an obsession with words, but I don't want to add too many in. So I'm just going to add these two pieces. This one says, take a moment and breathe. And this one says, I need a little sunshine. I thought both were appropriate for this page. After nine miles, you kind of have to take a moment and breathe. <laughs> and then I'm sitting in the sun and it really feels like this year, the sun is hiding. It's, it's like it gets warm for a day or two and then it gets cold again. And it's been like that for the entirety of spring a little bit it feels like a little bit more than normal so i thought that that was a good good quote for these photos as i sit here wrapped up in a blanket on may 15th because it's cold this morning <laughs> and i didn't want to add in more like leaf stickers but i thought that these vellum ones with the gold outline were going to be perfect and they they really do add to the composition without at feeling like I'm adding too many leaves, even though I am adding leaves, they're just different enough that they don't feel like 
I'm adding in more of the same, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now I just got to figure out where to put them all. <laughs> but I'm going to put one on the left hand side and then I'm going to, I'm going to put this one over here, I think. Well, I'm going to put one of them over there. They're both going to sort of anchor the two chipboard pieces I chose. Leading your eye around the page the way I want it to be led. I felt like, so I wanted to add in more icons and not words, but I didn't know what exactly to add because again, I didn't want to add more leaves. There aren't really any flowers in this collection, so I couldn't really add flowers. I tried to add maybe this cute little heart, but it felt like it didn't fit right. It didn't like mesh together with these clusters well enough. So I'm going to pull in the sticker sheets from the memory keeping sticker collection and the classic, this one's from the classic planner sticker kit. And I had these butterflies left over and I was like, voila, perfect. There's three of them. This will work exactly like I want. So I'm going to add them in three places on this page. The other one is brown, which sort of brings in that peachy color from the left hand side, but uh, I wasn't thrilled that it was the only brown thing on the page. So I'm kind of looking through going, do I really want to add the brown one? Is there, are there any other ones on these stickers? And of course there weren't because I've already used them. So we're going to go with brown and I'm going to put it over here because it is sort of like it matches that peachy color, but it also sort of matches my skin a little bit. Like obviously not quite the same color tone, but it does have that vibe. So it works enough. Now I'm going to cut some paper strips from some scraps from the simple Dory and I'm going to use them to journal. So I'm going to cut three little strips to add my journaling in. I'm going to tuck them underneath this flap over here. Now I'm going to add a, another spot of texture with the staples like I've been doing a lot lately and I'm just going to staple down these flaps with my tiny attacher on both sides. So I've got a couple there. You can barely see them. They're so tiny. <laughs> and then on this side as well, the single flap. Then I'm going to add in a title with the brush alphabet from the collection. I'm just going to say nine miles. Then I'm going to call it good. I'm going to add in my journaling and it will be all done. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There's a link to Coco Daisy in the comments. All right. Thank you.